Well, surely this is a massive slap in the face for some people. Let's begin. Now, I know in this country we're all innocent until proven guilty, which is how it should be. But the fact that he's paid or going to pay his accuser around £12 million as an out-of-court settlement, and obviously I think there's a picture or two linking them together as well, doesn't that settlement, though, imply that he must have at least done something wrong? I'm guessing Prince Andrew himself, though, doesn't think so, because, according to The Sun, he now wants to become an ambassador against trafficking. Yes, that's right, you couldn't make it up, could you? Now, I don't know how people feel about this, but I personally don't think it's such a good idea, because whilst he may or may not have some knowledge in that area, it might actually be in a design way and if anything I'm guessing it would be kind of the same situation as if Michael Jackson when he was alive obviously suddenly decided to become an ambassador against people who like kids a little bit too much just after settling out of court with one of his accusers. Now I know Michael is no longer around to defend himself but I thought it was important to make that comparison because even though neither Michael Jackson or Prince Andrew have been found guilty of anything as far as I know and it's important to say that Mud tends to stick, doesn't it? In court documents released this week in the US, the prince claimed he wanted to support the fight against the evils of trafficking and the victims. But abuse charities and campaigners distanced themselves from the Duke of York, who has stopped short of an apology to trafficking victim Virginia Roberts Giruffi? 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 Now, I don't know about you, but I personally think the best people to become ambassadors of any situation are people who have survived it, rather than people who might be trying to clear their name. 